Hello Libra and welcome to your November 2020 monthly reading. This is for Libra. Libra, you can now follow me on Instagram, on Facebook, and on Twitter, and I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description. All right, Libra, this is for you. If this resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe, and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Libra, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Libra out there. Please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So however it resonates with you. This is for Libra. This is for Libra. What is going on with Libra? What is going on with Libra? Okay. Okay, so this is someone um, from your past, Libra, that is wanting to return. I feel like there's hesitation here. I feel like there is hesitation on your part. I feel like you're very guarded towards this person. I feel like they there definitely could be some traveling here to, to see you. I feel like there was a connection here that you, the two of you were supposed to connect, you and this person. It was fate. It was destiny that you met, you talked, you started to establish some sort of relationship here. Maybe most of you had a full-blown relationship here, but you're very, very guarded in regards to this individual. So yes... This is somebody from your past that you had a strong soul connection with wanting to return to you, thinking about you, Libra, with this Six of Cups, okay? So let's see what's going on. It's water energy. Um, you could be dealing with a fire sign or somebody with a uh, strong fire in their chart. A lot of cards of travel here. I got the Eight of Wands, the Chariot, and the Six of Swords on the table. Um, so there could be some traveling involved in this situation. Um, I'm seeing this person wanting to come back around. I'm seeing this person as trying to settle their energy. I'm seeing this person as um, an unsettled soul that's trying to ground themselves here. And now they want to try to establish some sort of real relationship here with you. So Knight of Wands, right? They want to reconnect. They want to um, reunite with you, Libra. They want to celebrate with you. They, they want to spend time with you, this person, with that Three of Cups there. They, again, want to establish some sort of level of commitment here with you. Um, I can see this a couple different ways. I can see this because this, this was supposed to happen. You and this person were supposed to cross paths in this lifetime. And I feel like for most of you, you already have because this is in the past. Um, but I just feel like this person has been stuck there's hesitation there with this person, and now it's it. There's hesitation with you, um, but it's like this person has kind of freed themselves from this stuck energy, and now they want to establish some sort of connection, some sort of grounded commitment here with you. I see this as some of you may have had an established relationship with this person uh, before. And now they want to get back to that. Others of you, there was just this insane soul connection that you had with this person and things could not get off the ground. Um, whatever the case is, you are aware of this person. 
in this lifetime, they are aware of you in this lifetime. All right, there's a lot of wish fulfillment here. There's a lot of destiny. This this was already written. Um, and so how this plays out, I, I feel like it's going to be up to you because I feel like you're a little bit guarded here with this energy. So four of wands, right? More fire energy here. Um, establish, establish, establishing, if I could talk correctly, um, a commitment here with you. This is the goal of this individual. Um, but I feel like you, you want to talk about it. You want to talk, you want to talk and talk and talk to see if you can trust this individual. Um, but some readers call this the 1111 card. Um, so it's, it's like a divine connection here. Um, you guys have a lot of, a lot to learn from each other through this connection. All right. So Libra, I'm going to read the energies of the cards here. If the sign of the person that you're dealing with, have dealt with, will be dealing with in the future. If their sign pops up, all the better. Keep in mind, time is fluid. Cross watchers, keep in mind that some, some of these energies um, can be vice versa or interchangeable. It's a general reading, so you assign the roles as you wish, okay? So... A lot of non-movement here, a lot of stuck energy um, and hesitation. So I feel like this person has been keeping, kind of keeping their hands to themselves until they can become unstuck. Um, I feel like they, they think and think and think about a whole lot of things. I feel like this person is releasing a lot of past negative energy and and that's kind of where they've been stuck at and maybe you have been too libra it's you know you've been overthinking and you've been stuck as well um but there's resistance here there's waiting here and then all of a sudden there's all of this movement going on so that's good but right now we are most definitely in a holding pattern all right um so we've got the Eight of Swords here, and we've got the Hangman, right? So there, there hasn't been any movement. There hasn't been communication. There hasn't been, um, there hasn't been a lot of uh, physical connection, emotional connection. I mean, it's just on pause. The whole situation is on pause. And that could be, Libra, because, you know, you had to clear some things up. You had to make some space, and I feel like that's, a, and this person did as well. Um, so a lot of thinking going on, um, wanting the connection, but right now keeping our hands to ourselves and just maybe feeling the situation out. At the root of the reading, we have the star card. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius or somebody with strong Aquarius in their chart. I, I just feel this is this is a faded situation. There's a lot of hope and faith here. Um, I feel like this person has been wishing um, for you, dreaming about you, I want to say that. And um, I feel like you, you're going to be hesitant. You're going to be very guarded. But this person has never been able to let go of that connection with you because it's the story is an over yet this story isn't over so because it was written it was it, it was written before the two of you showed up here on this earth that's what i want to say so the wheel of fortune same thing and this is in a past position so it was meant for the two of you to cross paths when you cross paths it was meant for the two of you to connect. And again, whether that was just, you know, like a two ships passing in the night type of connection or you establish some sort of relationship with this person, this is how it was supposed to go, right? Um, so Wheel of Fortune, the universe is on your side here, but it does, you know, like I said, it's it was written before you got here to this earth and it's faded and it's in its... And it's destined here. The two of you are meant to learn things from each other, good, bad, or otherwise. 
Um, but right now, in, at the current time, we are in a holding pattern, but that is going to change. There could be some sort of travel involved here. I got a lot of cards of travel. Um, so you could definitely live at a distance from this person. That's for some of you, not all of you, all these cards here for travel. Um, but there's going to be um, forward movement, especially in communication with this person. So the chariot here, there's victory here, um, charging the head, movement, movement, right? Um, could be actual moving involved in regards to this situation. Uh, because what's crowning this reading is the six of swords. So again, with the movement. Um, so I feel like communication is going to happen here. And this person has been working on... Um, calming their own energy they've been trying to become more grounded and more stable they want to be a more stable force for you and we'll get to that in a minute but um, leaving the past behind and and moving forward together in this situation here um, six of swords that is air energy Communication, maybe you've been waiting for it. Maybe you're the one that's going to have to be initiating it. But I feel like it's coming towards you, Libra. Finally, right? We're getting some sort of communication from this individual that you had such a strong connection with. Um, and I feel like it's you're going to be guarded. You're going to be a little... Um, kind of side eye in this person, I want to say, you're not going to just lay your heart right out on the table and be like, here it is. I feel like there's going to have to be a lot of communication between the two of you to um, establish an understanding uh, and really truly get to know each other on much deeper levels here. So eight of wands, this is fire energy. It's very good. What is coming towards you? The intention of this person. Again, um, they wanted to be more settled. And they are looking for um, long-term situations here with you. And I'm seeing um, those pinnacles here. And I feel like, Libra, you're, you're kind of questioning this person's intention, intention. You don't fully trust. Like, okay, why? right what is the, what is your true purpose behind wanting to pursue this now what is the real reason is it monetary um, that is a thought that some of you could have is it because i can you know we can be stable together are you stable enough on your own it's it's all these questions that you've got rolling around in here you're questioning this person's intention um but I feel like their intention is, is pure. They wanted to stabilize. I feel like they're coming to you the right way. I don't feel any ill intention here. I feel loyalty here. I feel protection here. But they could not, um, they could not give you this before. This is why w there's the holding pattern here. So Ten of Pentacles, this is Earth energy. This is long-term commitments. They see a beautiful future here with you. They see abundance here. You see those dogs for loyalty and family. They want that with you, Libra, here, okay? King of Cups in your hopes and fears. Now you could be dealing with a water sign or somebody with strong water in their chart, male or female. You could be dealing with a very intuitive individual. King of Cups is very intuitive. But I feel like you're looking at this person and you're hoping that they are more on the emotionally mature side. Very charming. But you want somebody that's going to understand you. And you want somebody that is able to follow their heart and be open. And you want somebody that um, truly does care and love you, right? And this, this is what you're hoping and wishing for. Whatever the sign is, that's the energy. That their intentions are true and that there's love here. Um, the outcome here is you're going to be a little bit guarded. But I don't think either one of you has been able to fully let go of this connection yet. So we've got the Four of Pentacles. It's known as the Miser of the Tarot. So this person has... Um, 
held on to the thought of you. And I feel like when they do come around, like I said, you're going to question this person's intention before you let them into your heart. You're going to see if they there's true, genuine emotion here. And they can give you the love that you are looking for and the commitment that you are looking for before you let that guard down, before you become open to this person. So Four of Pentacles, that is earth energy so let's see let's clarify you could be dealing with a fire sign or somebody with strong fire in their chart and i feel like with this this person is is has kind of taken their power back wherever they're at whatever obstacles that they needed to clear because you know before they were coming through as a little bit unsettled here and now they're uh, more established, right? And ready for the pursuit. Male or female does not matter. So big attraction here for you, Libra. Okay, let's see what's behind that. Knight of Cups. So yeah, I feel like this is coming towards you with this Knight of Cups. So this is a love offer if you are open to it. If you see that this person's intention is real, that's the key. Um, so Knight of Cups, you know, that's water energy. Please clarify that Four of Pentacles for Libra. Please clarify that Four of Pentacles for Libra. Yeah, I think this person is going to make you extraordinarily nervous. <laughs> but you're going to see things. This is truthful. This is sincere. This is real. This person wants a, a victory here, but I feel like, and, and I feel like they, they think about you a lot. The thought of you kind of drives them crazy a little bit. Um, maybe they're coming into an understanding, an epiphany moment of what this connection is, um, and then they're ready to kind of move on it because there's a lot of movement here. So Ace of Swords, a lot of communication is going to have to happen in order to kind of calm you down. Um, and it's, it's going to have to be very sincere and very real so that you can trust this individual because I feel like you're very nervous about the whole situation. And I feel like that's because you've had your heart broken before, you've been betrayed before. You, you, you have started to question people, people's intentions when they want um, to establish some sort of relationship with you. I don't think it's just romantic. I think it's across the board. But you're going to see the sincerity in this person. You're going to hear it in their voice. You're going to see it in their eyes. And there will be a victory here. A lot of communication going to have to happen in order to make you feel at ease with this situation all right any more information for libra what's going on with the libra what is going on with libra Big attraction here for you and express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. That's what this person is preparing to do. Um, and there's attraction here. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So, yeah, there's attraction here. Very much attraction. There's a lot of attraction here. Very magnetic, but you just want to see if it's more than that, if it's real. If it's real, and I think it's real, Libra, express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Um, clear communication is key when it comes to you. And I feel like um, this person's ready to let you know. They're ready to let you know. They're ready to open up. They're ready to show you interest. They're ready to communicate. There's a lot of forward movement here, Libra. So that's very, very good. Very good. So if, if you want it, Libra, it is there. Um, 
there was no coincidence when you met this person. This was, a, this, this, I feel like I want to say this was agreed to before you got here. So this was already written and we're just kind of seeing how all this is going to play out. But I feel like with all this communication and, and the sincerity of the communication, I feel like you're going to become open to receive this person. But that is entirely up to you. They do make you a bit nervous. Um, but you make them nervous too, right? All right. So that's what's going on, Libra. And um, I hope you have enjoyed your reading. And like I said at the beginning of the video, you can now follow me on Instagram, on Facebook, and on Twitter. And I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. Um, please do follow the links because there are some imposters out there. And Libra, what else? Next week, I'll be working on the How Do They Feel About You readings. So check those out. And then... Um, Libra. For those of you that are new to the channel, welcome. I do have a weekly schedule and I do have a live schedule. The weekly schedule will let you know when your weekly reading will be released and the live schedule, I usually go live every day but Saturday around noon Eastern Standard Time. All of that information can be found down below in the description box or in the about section of my channel. Libra, I hope you have a beautiful day and a great week, and I will talk to you all very, very soon. God bless.